There's a lot of controversy over what the best duration of ADT is for high-risk prostate cancer. Uh, the short story is that I still prefer to use uh, approximately two years, which is what's being used in most randomized trials right now, nationally and internationally for high-risk prostate cancer. Um, there is specifically, I see um, an interest in people going towards 18 months, but I don't feel that the trial that compared 18 to 36 months has really proven the equivalence of 18 months. Um, although the hazard ratio for death between 18 and 36 months on the most recent update looked pretty reasonable, meaning it was 1.02 with a 95% confidence interval of uh, 0.81 to 1.29. There are some problems with the study that uh, don't make me feel like it's really proven equivalence for the patients that we're most interested in. So specifically, one problem is the high dropout rate in the 36-month arm. So after 18 months, uh, immediately after 18 months, 25% uh, of the patients had already dropped out of uh, ADT on the 36-month arm. And by the time you got to 36 months, only 59% of the patients were still on the drug. And when you have a very high dropout rate, it tends to bias towards equivalence. And so it gives me a lot of concern to claim that two treatments are equivalent when on the 36 month arm, there was a very high dropout rate. And many of those patients were getting much shorter durations of ADT than 36 months. So it's not really proven that 18 is equivalent to 36.